Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Sleeping Around is what I wanted to say, but that's not what this is. Sorry, I've been in Sleeping Around brain, but now I'm in reality TV lesbian brain. We're back. My name is Elena Joy. For any of you who don't know me, I make content around sex, dating, and relationships, mostly through conversations with experts, but sometimes we watch gay reality TV together. And currently we are watching Princess Charming. And stay tuned because I'm doing a massive giveaway. This show, I don't want to get into it again, but we're really working out the details on how to get this thing posted to all of you. Many of you noticed on the last episode that the audio was a little funky. That was the only way that Daddy YouTube would let us upload the video. So in addition to everything we talked about in the intro of that episode, we're now trying to find editing workarounds to allow us to even post the content on this platform. And as a reminder to anybody powerful who is watching this right now, this is not a replacement for watching the actual episode. This is my commentary and reaction. I do not claim ownership of this content. This is not a replication of that content. This is my own version of my response to that content. Okay, anyway, without further ado, Princess Charming episode three. It's like The Bachelorette, but lesbians and German. Let's see what they're up to. Yeah. Hold on, was that not multiple kisses happening that didn't involve the princess? Am I seeing things? This show is gonna go off the rails, I can just feel it. <laughs> it's an Achterbahn. I'm parroting. I'm free for all parroting. You guys said I could, I'm taking that and I'm running. Oh no, she's crying. Oh my god, does all this happen in this episode? I cannot wait. But before we get to the rest of the episode, the juiciest episode yet, might I add, I'd like to take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's content, Balesa. Today, I would like to tell you about the Whisper Bullet. This is the world's first silent vibrator. I still can't quite believe it. I don't totally understand how they have so much power in something so quiet, not to mention little and cute and soft. It's so quiet, like sub audible, no noise, full power. Gonna really pick up every little bit of sound mic, okay? And listen to this. Can you hear that? It's on. You can see that the little light, the little red light there is on. It's silent and it's rechargeable. So meet the Whisper Bullet. This is Balesa's new Whisper Tech, which means that you never need to choose between power and discretion. And I also love how it doesn't feel like your traditional rock hard plastic vibrator. Do you know what I mean? It has some flex to it. It's almost a similar texture to like a finger, if that speaks to any of you. And I'm doing a massive giveaway with Balesa today where literally everybody wins a free toy. But the kicker is that for this giveaway, every single person who signs up, you can use the link in my description, gets either a free Whisper Bullet or a free Air Vibe with their Whisper Bullet purchase. That is a $99 value free gift. So again, you can click the link in my description to get your free toy. Thank you, Balesa. Also, huge shout out to Kim, one of my patrons who has been translating these for us. We couldn't do it without you. Uh oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh yeah, right. Her and the princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're team Desi. We love Desi. Those eyes? Are you joking? So Desi and the princess kissed, and Desi and Elena also have a vibe. Messy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Unsere täglichen Drips gib uns heute und vergiss das mit der Schuld, denn das, was zählt, weiß ich nicht. Geile Zeit zu, zu zweit äh, mit Beine bereit. Incredible. If only I spoke German. If only I spoke German and could parrot that entire prayer. That is another thing that is wild about this show, is they just free for all on the booze. Half of them go out on a date with the princess, and the other half stay in the villa and just get hosed spin the bottle last time they were playing some like lick the fruit game now they're playing spin the bottle an ugly mess for the princess a beautiful mess for all of us viewers oh no wow like is that oh god i don't know how is this gonna go are they all gonna fall in love with each other how many engagements are we gonna have at the end of this Curly hair, green top, that's Elena, who has a vibe with Desi. She's asking Elena to stay, oh no. I can't handle, I can't handle this villa. 
Oh, sh Oh, they are cuddling. Uh-oh. Like, what happens then? Do they have to leave? Can people pick each other and then leave? Or even better, can they pick each other and stay? Oh, I don't feel jealous. That's interesting. You'd almost think that Desi would feel double jealous, you know? Maybe the jealousy for one is canceling out the jealousy for the other. Maybe this is Desi's dream come true. Man, this is tough. Like, it just shows my bias. But when I watch non-gay bachelor or bachelorette and the dating person is going on dates with everybody else and like kissing and whatever and the other contestants are getting jealous, I'm like, get over it. You're on a show. That's the point. They're dating each other. You barely know this person. Don't be jealous. But then here I see sadness in Desi's big brown eyes and I'm like, girl, I get it. That sucks. <laughs> like, I feel jealous for her. Mir fällt es ein bisschen schwer zu reden, yeah. wenn ich in deine Augen gucke. She's flustered. <laughs> the princess is flustered. Yeah, Surprisingly, exactly. who's surprised? Meine Look at her. Ich bin super happy gerade, aber that is definitely etwas, sonst wäre ich nicht nervös. I kind of love that it takes more for these women to kiss. <laughs> I don't know if that's the romantic in me or what, but if the moment's not right, they're not gonna force it. Every vibe was there for a kiss just now. It didn't naturally happen. The date's coming to an end and neither of them were like, oh shit, the date's coming to an end. We better, we gotta get this done. They left it. Didn't happen for us right now, but I believe in us. I believe in us and what we have and our moment will come. I don't know if all of you got that subtext as well, but I'm very intuitive. <laughs> Ich will mich da jetzt auch nicht so unter Druck mitsetzen und mir war neben dem Desi ist like, phew, no kiss. So sorry for the two of you. Oh yeah, would have loved for you to have a kiss as well. I'm so sorry. Jetzt noch ein Brief. Liebe Nathalie. Ich würde mich freuen, dich gleich bei mir in der Villa zu begrüßen. Oh my goodness. Jogginghose oder sowas anziehen. Nein! Should I wear sweatpants? Nein! Wait, there's an N at the end of Nai, hey? Nein! Das Schönste, was heute passieren könnte mit Natalie, wäre, dass sie sich wirklich fallen lässt und dass sie auch ein bisschen mehr Nähe und Körperkontakt zu mir sucht. Just say you wanna make out. <lacht> Just say you wanna kiss. Ich würde dich gerne küssen, aber irgendwie... Ich frag, ich frag dich. Also nicht jetzt. Ich gehst mal zu schlafen. Hast du ein Gefühl? Mm. Morning. <lacht> I'm so confused. I want to know why she said no to the kiss. It might be the cameras, right? It's obviously a high pressure situation. But to then be like, are you gonna sleep horny? No, I won't kiss you, but like, let's talk about how horny you are. Yeah, she's probably feeling rejected and surprised by that, I would guess. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. I have to process a huge rejection right now. Yep. Nach Alena's Einzeldate mit der Princess gibt es bei ihr und Daisy Gesprächsbedarf. This is so messy. It's episode three and this is so messy. I love this show. Thank you, Germany. Kennengelernt habe, bin ich ein Mensch, der immer nur meine Aufmerksamkeit mm. einer Person richten kann. Aber wie ist das denn möglich, dass du jetzt so Connections zu zwei Frauen hast, so zum Beispiel, weißt du? It makes me like Desi even more that she seems conflicted about being interested in, in both of them. Instead of being like, well, I'm going to explore both of these connections fully, which would be fine if that was communicated to all parties. She really wants to figure out how she's feeling before she makes any moves. I can appreciate that. So now she has to come back and say, well, she tried to kiss me and I said no. Of course, say no if you don't want to kiss someone, of course. There was just such a vibe. I'm Okay, sorry, Elena, stop talking. Because she's probably about to tell you <laughs> why she didn't want to kiss her. Just mm, shut your trap for a second and let's watch. And she wanted to kiss me too. And I said, no. What? I don't know her yet. I didn't want to kiss her in the first place. I didn't want to kiss her. It was too much. She needs to know her better. She needs more. Mm -hmm. With, sorry, were they just cuddling? 
und Daisy kommen sich immer näher. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're making out. Oh, it's a mess. It's a beautiful, beautiful, ugly mess. Like, at what point do they start telling the princess about these things? That's what's killing me. Oh, they're gonna tell her. Okay. Verkehrt das vielleicht irgendwie einen Tag später oder so zu sagen, weil du weißt halt nicht so, wie sie reagiert. Ooh, Elena doesn't want to tell her. This is not good. Because now, not only have they formed a connection behind her back, they've made out and they're actively choosing to keep that from her. Oh, not great, not great. Ich fand's natürlich nicht so cool, dass uh, Rachel heute auf dem Date oh, yeah, war. Yeah, so She's jealous of that the blonde one was on a date. Oh my goodness. Uh, Back also into her other ich. lover's arms. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how to feel about any of this. I love it all too much. I love women in love. I love it. I love them loving each other. I love them loving the princess. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Ooh, in the preview, this is the outfit she was crying in. So that's probably not good. Oh, they're pulling her aside. Oh, they are gonna tell her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, yes. Oh, yes. Yes for honesty. Yes for transparency. But, like, oh, no for the princess. Oh, she knows what's coming. Aber ich bitte euch einfach, das weiterhin mit zu kommunizieren, wenn ihr wirklich merkt, okay, ihr beide wollt hier zusammen rausgehen, dass ihr das kommuniziert. Mm. Erst noch mm -hmm. mit Daisy und mit Elena irgendwie ein Date gehabt und noch Sachen ins Ohr geflüstert und dann am nächsten Tag. Yeah, those are two of her strongest connections. The last couple of people that she sent home have been because it's friend vibes. Now, two of her favorite people are saying, actually, we maybe want to bone each other. This poor princess. Das war eine scheiß Situation irgendwie gestern. So, oh, now here, here comes, gemerkt, here here comes Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> Can we debrief why I didn't want to kiss you yesterday? <laughs> It's a house full of lesbians. Of course, there's gonna be a lot of emotional debriefing. I don't know how I expected anything less. Also, ich bin eigentlich voll der touchy Mensch auch, aber ich, ich brauche irgendwie. Ich brauch da ein bisschen für. Also, das wollte ich dir nur sagen, okay? Ich laber dich jetzt gar nicht zu, okay? Komm her, Kopfschieb. Gerne, müssen meine Augen. Komm her. Oh, she was having a hard day. Ich denke, Max, du noch mal mit mir sprechen. Mm. Look at their shoes, matching shoes. Bunch of lesbos in their docks. Einzel bzw. Übernachtungsdate einlade, würdest du dann überhaupt ja sagen? Also wenn du mir die Chance gibst, nachdem ich dir erzählt habe, auf jeden Fall. Wirklich? Ja klar. Ist mir immer im Kopf. Oh, she's smitten. Who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? Ich hoffe, es geht dir gut. Und äh, ich habe an dich gedacht, ich habe dir Energie geschickt mhm. und ähm, ich hoffe, es ist okay. Ich drücke mir klar. Oh Nina ist ein real winner hier. Team Nina. So, mach ich mal. Schauen wir mal doch. Voll geil. Sollen wir machen? Ja, ja. ja. Ich glaube, das wird uns mehr gut tun. Ist mehr hinaus. Scream. Wow, look at them. Oh, that's emotional for some reason. How is this show like so touching? It's lesbian summer camp where they're all just getting drunk in a house together and making out. And yet every episode so far has managed to have an emotional arc. Cows. 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 And now, she, who's she gonna eliminate? Well, not Desi and Elena. She loves them. My next question is, how come those other two aren't telling her about their kiss? Maybe because it was during Truth or Dare, they think that, like, they get a pass? Which, like, sure, if it was the game and then it ended there, but it hasn't ended there. It's, like, a whole thing. So, Maria and Rachel. Like, are they gonna... Are they gonna tell her at some point? Do they... Look how happy she... Fr Nina? Of course, Nina's staying. Oh. T 
Team Nina. Did I mention that? Did I, did I say that yet? Natalie. Natalie, duh. Und würde mir wünschen, dass du bleibst. Vielen Dank. Ich bin Kette. Das heißt, ich bin auf jeden Fall noch im Game. Daisy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. She's staying. They're both staying. Also, ich würde mich sehr freuen, wenn du bleibst. Yes. Yes. What? What? Oh, wait. Oh, she's coming back. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, she's coming back for a hug. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Because she told her that if she would ask her on a date, she would obviously say yes. So why is she why is she leaving? What's going on? Desi, talk to us. Yeah, we're all wondering that. We all have questions. Princess, don't you worry. We all have questions. Daisy hat sich gegen die Princess entschieden. Wird Elena ihr folgen? No, Elena will stay. She's staying. Come on. Oh. This is like the the princess shouldn't be the one like wondering if she's gonna be rejected or not this early on wow she had it rough this episode why did desi go will someone tell us please oh no oh no oh no so there's so much making out oh my god okay i don't want to know i don't want to ouch i don't want to know i'm gonna wait along with all of you i don't want to know holy guacamole <laughs> <laughs> you all told me that this show was a wild ride and that it was everything you could want in gay reality TV? Nye. It was everything that you could want in reality TV across the board. You told me. I don't know why I ever doubted you. I'm sorry for that. I apologize. I was wrong to have waited this long to bring this show into my life. If you haven't already seen my podcast, Sleeping Around is live. It's been live for a couple of months. There are a ton of episodes out there. I'll link the playlist in the description if you're interested in watching the episodes. You can also listen to them anywhere that you get your podcasts. Thank you to everybody who has been supporting the show already it's been so neat to see as always an extra thank you to my vip patrons my vitally important producers you all not only make my world go round but you get all of the extended cut sleeping around episodes and bonus content from these episodes it's a win-win and another huge thank you to balesa for partnering with me on this video remember you can sign up using the link in my description to get either a free whisper bullet or a free air vibe with your whisper bullet purchase but that's it for this video. I actually have to run and do a live stream for Patreon right now anyway. So I have two minutes to set all that up. I gotta go. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. This is the third episode of Princess Charming and Sleeping Around is my chart topping award winning crowd pleasing podcast. It's not those things. Well, maybe crowd pleasing. It hasn't won any awards. It hasn't quite topped the charts. It like got up there. We broke top 200. <laughs>